Today we will see three different procedures for creating a structural joint specification in PDMS Paragon. Okay, so there are mainly there are three different procedures. The first procedure is by exporting an already created spec. The second procedure is definitely through command window that is uh, by, uh, by giving commands like new specification, new selectors and so on. And the last uh, procedure is by delisting an existing spec and after changing some of the required parameters we can uh, reincorporate it in Paragon. Okay. So these are the main three procedures. So what are the main three procedures? The first one is by exporting a spec. The second one is by creating a spec from scratch by giving commands in this command window like new SPC, new SCLE for selectors, new SPCO for spec components like that. And, and the last method is by delisting an existing spec and after changing all the required parameters in the delisted file, we can reincorporate it in PDMS Paragon. Okay. So first of all, we will see the exporting procedure. Okay. So suppose this is the spec. This is the spec of the base plate and currently we will create a spec for our end section joint. Okay. So we will export this uh, specification first. Okay. So suppose for export uh, this specification, let me just change this name to something easier. So just uh, rename it to test SPC or we can rename it like uh, test base plate, test BP like that. Okay. For easier purposes, nothing else. Yeah. So it is renamed. Now what uh, you can do, you can go to command window. Okay. So first of all, we have to specify the file name of the exported uh, specification. Okay. So for that, you have to write this command and the command is after, first of all, we just check the name of the specification and that is this. Then we will write F I L E. There is file space. We will copy this name. We'll copy this name. Okay. And we will paste it here. And after that, we will put a dot and we will write SPEC for specifications. Okay. So like that. So file the, after that a space after that the name of the specification dot SPEC. Okay. So put enter. Okay. So we have specified the file name of the extracted spec. Okay. Now it's clear. Perfect. So after that, we will write output. After that, we will write output and after that, we will paste it the name of the specification. And after that, we will click enter. So as we can see that the spec has been dumped. Okay. So where is the destination of the spec? By default, it will be dumped here in Aviva plant data 12.1.sp4 or any other service packs that you have, you have won. And after that, the PDMS user. And as you can see, this is the newly exported spec, spec file. Okay. This is a spec file testbp.spc. This is the file name that we have given here under Paragon. And after that, we have performed this command that is output underscore uh, spec name. Okay. So after that, you can find this under this default directory. And that is the install folder of Aviva plant data 12.1.sv4. Then PDMS user under PDMS user. If you just do a date modified, you can find this file at the top. Okay. So after that, we will just open this file. Okay. We will just open this file and it will be better if you open it with WordPad. Okay. It will be better like that. So uh, there are some issues. Just let, let me check. Just click open. Okay. This file is in use by some other things it is saying. Let's clear it for once and okay. Okay. So this command is still active. Okay. So suppose we can make this inactive by just exporting it in a different file format like uh, file. We will copy this name again and we'll paste it here. And suppose we will export it in CSV now. So put CSV here and then output and we will put like this. Okay. Now it is exported in csv format as you can see okay so now i think it will open yeah now it will open because um, before that this was the active file okay this file was linked with paragon and after that we have created this uh, testbp.csv file so now this csv file is active file and this is not uh, active anymore so now we can edit this file in wordpad i have opened it in wordpad as you can see okay so in this case as you can see that I have opened this in WordPad and this is the standard working procedure of exporting an already generated specification. Okay. So the first line is input begin 
as we all know the new specification and the name comes under test bp okay so we will just change it to ss okay we can do one thing we will just take this test and we will just replace all the test values with ss replace all okay perfect now as you can see as i have already discussed in earlier section the the first question and the first question is asked by the specification okay so the first question asked by the specification is the o type okay and this is the owning section type okay and this is the description and as you all know that this description is visible in the graphical user interface of the, of the joint modification tab okay so we can just change it uh, by writing end end section joints yeah by writing like that end section joints yeah now as you can see the qu first question asked is o type okay and the purpose of this specification is join definitely it has to be joined because elsewhere you will not able to you will not be able to see this specification under the graphical user interface as it is a joint specification and that graphical user interface dialog box is also for join modification purposes so after asking this question and this is the issues this is the input these are not required parameters here so where we will get this where we will get the answer of this question in the first set of selector so then we are defining the first set of selector that is new selector and this is the name of this new selector okay so we can just change this base plate or bp by end joint or ej just for defining purposes because we cannot uh, take the same name in pdms because that name is already defined okay so we will just perform one replace all okay perfect now as you can see the new selector's name has been changed to this and the answer of the previously asked question of o type is none because this is going to be a specification for an n section joint and as we have already discussed that for an n section joint there is no owning section okay so as there are no owning section and the question asked was what was what is the owning section type so the answer the text answer t answer is none okay so now the selector will ask us the second set of question and that second set of question is a type or the attached section type okay so where we will get this answer definitely under the next set of selectors so we will define the next set of selectors now that is new selector and this is the name of that selector okay so uh, the answer of the previously asked question of attached section type is beam as you can see okay the t answer tab is populated with the g type of the attached section that is beam okay so now this selector will ask us the next set of question and that is the s type or sub type so for that we will define another selector under this hierarchy and that section will be having this name and uh, the answer of the previously asked question is eta you can also change this to end uh, section joint esj okay no issue is that you can change it to whatever you want this will only affect the sorting purpose under the graphical user interface as we have already discussed in a previous video okay so the last question asked was s type and the answer that we have got here is the t answer that is esj okay and the description of this subtype or s type we have already got that and that is as attached section okay so we can also change this to end plate or something like that okay end plate perfect so the description of the subtype is also changed to end plate okay so now all those selectors have been defined by us okay so now after that we will define our first spec component that is the new sp uh, component okay we, we will define our first spec component that is the, that is a new sp component okay so for this specification purpose we will just take one spec component uh, for easier understanding so we will delete all the rest of these lines of spec components okay so after this up to this end actually these are the spec component because see this is the new spec component and this is the name of the spec component and end okay so this uh, command is ending here after that this is the new spec component and this is the end okay so like that so if we delete this one two three four so we have to delete this four ends okay so up to this end we have to delete so after that we delete it okay so now this component has been fulfilled the loop and after that this selector also has been fulfilled the loop okay this selector has been fulfilled the loop so the next uh, selector 
under this hierarchy under this hierarchy we can see that there are two selectors one selector is this one and one selector is this one so for our case we will just take one selector so we will also delete this selector and all the speak components that will come under this selector okay so we will just end and end this will be our end so one two three four five new components so one two three four five ends to end this loop and one extra end for uh, ending the logic of this new selector okay so we will delete all these things now it is perfect for our new spec component and we are having currently only one selector okay so now we will define the category difference also okay category difference we will define so for that case we will just take the category uh, one of the category difference like suppose we will take this uh, 20mm base plate category that is already been created here so we will just refer it here like that the after the CATR we just copy it from here and we will paste it in this line okay we'll paste it in this line like that okay now it is perfect we have referred the category also yeah so after that we can delete all the rest of the unnecessary components and their category reference as we will not need them and we will be needing only one spec component and that is why we will need only one category reference okay so we will delete all these things as these are all spec components nothing else so we will delete this okay so now the input will end here and the input will finish these are the other two commands okay so now we will just save it and as you can see that this is the input begin line and this is the input end and finish line and there are new specification so this is that end and as you can see that one selector two selector three selector so one two and three ends and for a spec components one end okay so there are five uh, loop creation and five ends so you can see that our loop logic has been perfect here so we will just save it here and now we will just copy this whole thing okay we will just copy this whole thing and just copy it and we will go to paragon okay paragon after that we will click this big one just clear it here and we will paste this as macro okay so as you can see that this whole specification has been generated here as you can see this whole specification has been generated here okay by defining each and everything all these things that we have already defined in this thing we have imported back here in paragon okay so everything is perfect here so we will just perform a small save work and we will go to design okay now so in design we will do one save get work and one save work so after that uh, first of all to create an intersection joint i have already say, said that first of all we have to turn our pnode creation on and after that we have to refer our sub framework for storing all the sections and we have to refer this sub framework for storing all the nodes okay so now all these things are referred so now we can create the intersection joints and for that we will go to modify joints and specification and we will click at this end of the joint okay so as you can see this is here our newly created specification that is the end section joint specification and the subtype of end plate and uh, you know that this subtype description comes from the last set of selectors that is this one and this description has come to this dialog box okay and this is our only spec components as you can see we have created only one spec components and the cat ref is 20mm underscore thick underscore attached and as you can see in this dialog box the same cat ref has been referred so in properties you can see only diameter of bolt you can vary here so just uh, vary it for the sake of varying it and then click apply as you can see we have not uh, we have not changed this justification so we have to update the justification to neutral axis and after that if you apply it you can see that it has been positioned correctly at the correct location okay so now we can dismiss it so you can see that this is the standard method of creating new specification by exporting an old specification okay you can do this also by db listing but in case of db listing there are a lot of errors that can come but in this method that i have described and that is by exporting an existing specification you can just create everything you want without any sort of error and if you just uh, do this procedure two or four times or several times you can just uh, write all these things in notepad also or wordpad also without exporting any of the previously created specification so that in that case you will not need any of the previously created specifications also okay so after that this is one procedure definitely and the other procedure is by just going to this uh, command window and by writing this new 
SPEC kind of things. Okay, so you can create uh, the selectors also by this command window, uh, new SELE, and I like uh, I like this. Okay, so new SELE, and after that there will be another new selector, and after that there will be another new selector. So there are three set of selectors as been shown. So after that there will be the new spec component okay so you can also create the specification like this and after that you have to refer all the relevant details in the specification that is first of all the description of the specification you have to mention you have to mention the question that is o type okay so all of these things you have to mention and you have to fulfill all the relevant details in the upcoming selectors as well as the spec components so it is a bit lengthy if you have already created a spec earlier so the easier method is to dump that spec by the method that I have already shown earlier in this video and you can edit those specs in wordpad and you can reincorporate that spec in paragon okay so just delete this spec for good yeah and the last method is you can just debilize this spec you can just debilize this spec by going to utilities and debilisting and you can debilize this spec and after that you can reincorporate this spec here in paragon but the debilisting procedure often comes with some errors that errors all of this all of those errors are definitely solvable but uh, that is a bit time consuming so according to my opinion the procedure that i have described here that is uh, the dumping of an existing spec and after changing all the required parameters uh, reincorporating that same spec by changing its name and description and all the relevant parameters you can create a joint specification as uh, i have shown here okay so this video will end here and uh, i will just show one thing I will just show this uh, picture okay so in this picture as you can see that we are looking uh, at this SBP one currently okay this SBP one so in the next video what we will do we will create end section joint category of this SBP one okay with all the parameters as, as design parameters okay with all the parameters and design parameters and we will see how we can create this category and after that we can refer it further in our specifications and in our specification components so that we can create it further and further on okay so in the next episode we will create a category for the n section joints okay so uh, for this section now bye okay thank you